Jason Brilliant with Brilliant Fishing back with you today. I'm out here cleaning up some fish fillets. I've got some crappie from a recent fishing trip. And also this time saved a blue catfish. It's about a five, six pound blue catfish. And if you've ever had nasty tasting catfish, um, maybe catfish isn't your favorite thing. Uh, you want to try to do something to make it taste a little bit better. I'm going to give you three tips to help you ensure that you are eating the best catfish that you have ever put in your mouth. And so step number one, before you leave the water, okay, while that catfish is still alive, what I like to do, take a pair of scissors and I want you to just reach in there uh, on the side of the gill right here. And once you get in there and get your pair of scissors and cut a gill, cut a gill on each side and then stick that fish back in the water. Now you can do that, just put it back in the net, sit it in the water. Uh, if you're not afraid of getting your live well bloody, just do it in the live well. Just bleed that fish out, let it stay in there for maybe 15 minutes. Let it get all that blood out of its system. Then step number two is you put that fish in an ice bath. Now, what I did was I put this fish in an ice bath for about two days. And if that sounds like a long time, it is a long time. But it was on ice for that entire period and it allowed that blood to pull back out of the meat, right? To constrict as that meat constricts, it stays cold, pushes all that blood back down into the, the interior of that fish, pulls it out of the meat. So I want you to look at this fish and how it looks. All right, so look at these flesh. You see that is super, super white meat. I mean, super white. So that's another step. Another thing that you can do uh, is when you go to fillet this fish off, which I use an electric knife, I kind of missed a little bit there. But you peel that fish off, you leave a little bit on the meat, on the skin. So uh, you don't get it real tight. That way you're not getting all that bloodline up. Uh, you know, there's still a little bit to trim off here. You want to trim all that red off. All right, step number three, and if you wanna see a video on this, go back in my history, you'll see a video, Texas peat fried fish. So you can do this with stripers, catfish, any kind of strong tasting fish. Take your fish, cut it up into pieces, and before you get ready to bread it and fry it, put about a half a cup of Texas peat or some other vinegar-based hot sauce, or even just plain vinegar, uh, diluted with some water, and uh, put your fish in that and let that soak for a while. Give that about 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, you bring it out of the Texas peat. You can just leave the Texas peat on there and use it as a binder for your breading. So you just uh, take it straight out of the Texas peat into the breader, into the fryer. Uh, if you want to just soak it in a little bit of uh, water, like maybe a half a gallon of water with uh, maybe a half cup of vinegar in it, uh, let it soak in there for 10 or 15 minutes, dry your fillets off. Uh, then go ahead and do your breading and your frying and you will be surprised at how the vinegar cuts through the oil That sort of gives that fish a strong taste uh, So that's three tips. So scissors cut the gills Put that fish on ice in a submerged ice bath and number three use some vinegar or Texas peat next time you fry up catfish You'll thank me later <laughs>